Hi Stampin' Friends! This is Deborah Harrison with Simply Sweet and Ink Designs. So today I am making a really cute little box using the Sweet Ice Cream Bundle. And the bundle includes the stamp set and the punch. You can find the entire suite for the ice cream corner in the catalog, the uh, January through June 2021 catalog on page 49. It's a really fun suite, cute little sprinkles, beautiful paper, which I'm gonna show you that to you here as well. Uh, I just love all the different colors and patterns that are in this designer series paper. It's been a really fun suite to work with. And in fact, I have a retreat to go coming up in March using this suite. So I'm gonna tell you about that a little bit later on after we do the project. So let me get all this aside and then we'll get going. All right, so to do today's project, you're going to take a piece of thick basic white cardstock. You're going to cut it to four and one eight by five and one quarter inches. And then you're gonna score it on each side at one inch all the way around. All right, now I have, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna snip up these lines on each side to form your tabs. Now I've already done that on this piece and I've already scored it and uh, burnished it so that we can go ahead and just put it together. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these tabs on each side and we're just gonna adhere them with some glue. I would recommend either tear tape or multi-purpose glue to get a really good hold. And then we'll do the other side. Just kind of hold that down for a second, make sure it stays tightly. And then one more. And then we'll be done with the, with the base of our box. All right, so now we're gonna do the lid of our box. And there's something we wanna do a little bit different this time so that we can make sure that our lid fits properly on top. If you've ever done boxes that have a lid to them, sometimes the lid is a little too snug, so I'm gonna tell you how we can remedy that. So I'm gonna take my scoreboard and I'm gonna take another piece of the basic white thick cardstock and I am gonna score it again at one inches all the way around. Same measurements, we have four and an eighth, by five and one quarter. The only difference that I am doing is I am taking a shim right here. Now I developed a little shim to snap over the edge of my score tool, but you can also too just use a little piece of cardstock, a little scrap cardstock there. Just so you have a little bit of an edge here to give it a little bit of a gap. And so I'm gonna score again at one inch all the way around. All right, so really that's the only difference is that I use the shim this time. And that's gonna give me that little bit that I need. All right, so we're gonna snip up these edges like I did before. And I'm just gonna kind of put a little notch in them, kind of get rid of some of that bulk in my cardstock. And then we're gonna assemble the top. Now, one thing you're probably noticing is I have these little splotches here, and you're probably wondering, what is that all about? I actually, what I did is I took one of the stamps that looks like the little uh, dots on from the uh, Sweet Ice Cream stamp set, and in, in Soft Suede Ink is I stamped these little dots just randomly on to each of the edges. And what that does is it kind of resembles chocolate chips. So I thought we would have a chocolate chip ice cream sandwich for our treat box. So I'm just gonna randomly stamp that on there. And it's totally fine if it gets anywhere else because we're gonna be covering that here shortly anyway with the top and the bottom of our sandwich. So let me get this out of the way. And then we're gonna assemble the top of our box. Make sure you burnish it, each of the lines to get a nice crisp edge and then we'll assemble the top. Same thing as we did before. We're just going to put our tabs together, again, using tear tape or liquid glue. And then we'll do the other side. All 
away. Okay, now to make it a little bit easier to be able to grab the edges of my box is I'm just going to take a circle punch. In this case, I'm using a one inch circle punch, but you can use any size that you have. And we're just going to punch each of the ends here. And that will just kind of help give me a little bit more grip for the lid of my box. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble the box. Put that on there. Now what I did next is I took some soft suede cardstock and I die cut out with the stitched rectangle. This is actually the second size, second largest size in the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I just cut out two of the stitched rectangles to make the sandwich for my ice cream. So we're gonna adhere one on top and one on bottom. And hopefully I have done my measurements correctly. In here on the, this, there is some stitching and I am just going to line up the box right there on that stitching. So that kind of, use, I use that as a guide to help with my placement. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom of our box. Again, you wanna use tear tape or liquid glue. And so now I'm just gonna put that on there between those stitched lines. Okay, now that I have made my box, what I wanna do now is just decorate the top of it. So on here, what I did is, you'll notice I have an oval and I have an ice cream cone. Well, what I wanna do is I took an oval and I, from the stitch shapes, dies. This is actually the second largest oval and I die cut it out in basic white cardstock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay ink pad and we're going to stamp this treat yourself sentiment from our sweet ice cream stamp set. And I, since I want to leave room for my ice cream cone, I'm going to make sure that I'm stamping far to the right. So I'm just going to stamp my sentiment there. Okay, so now we're going to make our ice cream cone. Finish it up, we're going to do the ice cream. So we're going to take a piece of basic white cardstock and our cone shape. And this time I'm going to stamp it in cinnamon cider. And so I need to make sure that I am stamping this in the correct position. So I'm going to go ahead and take my punch, look at the positioning, and I notice that I need the base of the triangle towards me. So that way I make sure when I stamp, that I stamp in that position to make it easier for me to be able to punch it out when I'm done. All right, so now I'm gonna do the little accent pieces in the soft suede. So I'll bring my soft suede ink pad back in, and then we are going to just add in this little hash mark right here onto our ice cream cone. All right, so now we are ready and I'm gonna punch it out. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I have already cut out with the punch, I've already cut out the ice cream scoop. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna adhere that. This actually was punched out of the designer series paper. That's what I love about the paper. There's so many awesome patterns in it that you can either stamp your scoops of ice cream or you can just punch them out using the designer series paper. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my dimensionals and we are going to adhere this onto our oval and then we're going to start with the cone and then we're going to put on our scoop of ice cream. Just put that right over the top. Now what I want to do now is I'm going to put that onto the top of our box with some dimensionals and then the last thing we're going to do is just add a few sprinkles just to give it a little bit of whimsy to our box. All right, so I'm gonna take my sprinkles and I'm just gonna select a few colors here and I'm gonna add some little dots where I think I would like to have my little sprinkles. And I'm gonna take my take your pick tool and on the end there is a petty section. So I'm just gonna use that to gently pick up these little 
sprinkles and just gently dab them on here. And then our little box is done, guys. Aren't those so cute? I love them. All right, so as I mentioned, I am actually doing a retreat in a box using the ice cream corner suite. So I wanted to share that with you before we take off for the day. So the ice cream corner retreat, it actually includes supplies to make six projects. There will be three cards that you'll make and then you will have three 3D items that you'll make. That's another card. And you will also too, it has the supplies, you'll make a really cute gift bag, a gift box, and probably my favorite is this really fun shadow box. I just love that. And inside I kind of put in some sprinkles It's for a lot more fun. So I wanted to uh, also share with you the other events that I have coming up. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way and I will share those real quickly with you. In order to register for any of my events, just look in the description below and I have the links to those different events. Now for the Ice Cream Corner Retreat, it is a little bit different because I am offering the bundle for sale. So you will need to request that registration link for me per stamp up policy. So let me get these out of the way and I will tell you about the other events I have coming up in March. All right, so I am also doing a couple of events with the Sand and Sea Suite. Beautiful, beautiful suite. The uh, Stamp Club this month is featuring that bundle, the Friends Are Like Seashells bundle, to make a, uh, a case with four cards inside. And you also, too, will have a little pocket, and then you will make four cards, two each of two different designs. And they're just really, really beautiful, beautiful cards. I love the embossing in here and the different, uh, the patterns of the paper and everything. It's such a beautiful suite. Also too is my Stampin' Bunko for March. We'll also be using the Sand and Sea Suite to make a card and a lotion holder. So guys, that is what I have to share with you today. I hope that you liked the project that we made today. The ice cream corner suite and that you will come back and join me next week for another project actually next week is our mystery stamping week as you know the first thursday of each month i come to you with mystery stamping so make sure to check out my blog or my facebook page the wednesday before so that you can get the measurements prep your supplies and join me for a fun mystery stamping so guys until next week y'all have a wonderfully blessed weekend bye guys